What would you do if you had to deliver to a portable science lab? And what would you do if your waiter spat inside of your drink? Sorry, sir. Don't call me sir unless you're in my bed. And what would you do if I smacked the living daylight out of you? Just kidding, that was my little brother Tino and he's gonna help us answer those questions in today's video. What Would You Do is a show hosted by John Quinionis in which they secretly watch how people react to mind-boggling situations. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna ask John Quinionis a special question, so stick around for that. You've most likely seen it before and now you're thinking, Hmm, I haven't seen him in a long time. So bad. But there is a reason for that. They haven't posted in over two years. And that made me cry because I'm such a huge fan of the show. And with that, I decided to revive the show with my own episode of What Would They Do? The plan was simple. Me and my friend Cutter would rent a U-Haul truck and turn it into a special crystal lab. And then we ordered DoorDash to see if they would call the cops or even worse, buy some of our products. I just ordered the Grimace meal and the driver is on its way. So let's see. What would you do if you had to deliver McDonald's to a portable mess? What? Beforehand, we bought two hazmat suits and we began to put them on. We got a notification that our driver was on the way and her name was Isabella. And the thing is, it was a really hot day and there was a chance we could lock ourselves from inside of the U-Haul with no way to open it. And you know, that could be really, really bad. That's all I'm gonna say. But we set up a UAV in the sky, which is basically just a drone. See when she arrives. And we also set up our crystal, which was just ice. Frozen water. This is pure glass. Isabella, I am so sorry for what you're about to see. We're about to close the U-Haul. How can we close it from like inside? This is danger. <laughs> All the way. They're almost here. The door dash is almost here. We have the drone shot. We're gonna play it for you guys. I cut it. You should take a seat now. We're just gonna be making mess. <laughs> what car did they say? Oh, oh, oh. Is that the car? That's it? Hello? Oh, we're kind of busy with something. Am I interrupting something? Um, a little bit. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> we're not doing anything. We're not what's doing anything. What's going on? We're cooking, you know. Yeah, we're cooking. Is that our uh, grimace shake? Grimace yes. Shake? Thank you. Uh, do, do you want a piece of, um, mat? What? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Wait, Ashley, we're gonna be Isabella was left confused and didn't know how to respond to this situation or she probably just called the cops and gave us multiple felonies But anyway after she left we cleaned up the u-haul because we had reservation to the world's rudest restaurant Which is known for some of the worst furniture and service in the world Please give me an hour. We're begging me to order something. Yo, so you know where I'm going with this I decided to make a bonus episode of what would you do just for you guys since you guys are subscribed and if you're not Okay, basically the plan is that I blindfold my cousin Arnest who has no clue what that restaurant is about because I told him it's the best rated restaurant in the world So we're gonna see what will he do? Will he stand up for himself or will he fight the waiters or do something very unexpected? <laughs> bro, bro, you can't see. All right, all right, come on, come on. Are you ready to take your blindfold off? Yeah, of course. Take it off. Bro, oh, what is this? <laughs> Oh. Um. As we entered the restaurant, Arnest thought it was gonna be a normal experience, but that was far from the truth. So right off the bat, what this do you think? This place looks nice, you yeah? know? Huh? Looks fancy. Pretty fancy. Nothing's gonna happen. Uh, what do you mean these chairs suck? Dude, these chairs suck. <laughs> I don't like their setting anymore. When we sat down on the chairs, they were all torn apart, and then we met the waiter. Have y'all been here before? No. You know what this place is, though, right? Oh uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, get up. We're going on a field trip. Come on. Wait, what? Get up. Get <laughs> <laughs> up. Sit down right here. Yeah. My fault. These <laughs> fellas smell real pretty. We smell real pretty. Real pretty. What is going on? Do you see this guy? Later this video, we're gonna give him a taste of his own medicine. So keep on watching to find out. But we haven't even been in a restaurant for five minutes and we were already getting violated. What the fancy camera? You can't know. Why? Because it's not your business. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. How many followers you got? Four? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We ordered our drinks and Arnest was suspecting something was up. Then noticed this. This was me putting a bit on you, but the bit is on me now, bro. Exactly. Well, I didn't expect it to be this crazy. Spitting in our drinks. What do you mean yeah. spitting in our drink, bro? What did you put in our drink, bro? Alright, these are placemats. They go in front of you. Fix it, stupid. Sorry, sir. Don't call me, sir, unless you're in my bed. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that. Wait, I have a question. What? What is this? I don't know. Read it. Yeah, what is that? Shrimp that's been fried. No, but what's shrimp? You know what shrimp are? Can we have two of the uh, thick, thick milkshakes? The ice cream machine's broken. Try again. This is not McDonald's. Mi welcome to McDicks. It's actually broken. Welcome to McDicks. Get a brownie sundae instead, stupid. How creamy are the cheesecakes? It's cheesecake, stupid. Quit it with the d 
questions. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. Don't lie. You just got surgery, so that's why you can't really speak that way. Right, well. I didn't ask. You. Hey, this guy was kind of getting on our nerves, but after he took the order, he was preparing the infamous hats they give to the people here at Dick's. And we were scared to see what they were because they're always wild. I told you, this is the world's nicest restaurant. Hey, Dick's? <laughs> what is that? Never mind. Lose the hat, kid. Me? Yeah, you. Do you like this hat? No, I don't. It's available on 100? Okay. Damn. <laughs> nah, nah, that's crazy. Yeah, you can go back and read the hats, but wow, crazy. But then my little brother Tino had something to say to the waiter. He isn't going to hold back. Sir, I'm a, back, kid. I have a question for you. What? This is too disturbing. Say sorry to my brother now. What? This is too disturbing. Say sorry to my brother now. No. Damn. Shut up, boy. <laughs> Even little bro wasn't safe. But get you a brother like Tino. And after our food was coming up, we had to see if the waiter had a friendly side to him. Oh, thank you. Here you go. What else do you need? Uh, who made this? I don't got him. No, nobody here. It came out of a box. Okay, I'm just saying, like, compliments to the chef. Hurry up and you think it's dumb. All right, thank you. I didn't expect him to do this. He actually dabbed me up, and then I asked Arnest a question. So remember, I told you this is the best rated restaurant in the world. For food uh -huh. or service? Service. Uh -huh. What I wanted to say is how would you react in a place like this without you knowing? I only listen to her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My fault. Are you all right? That was the best photo I've ever seen. In ever. Do you see my airdrop? Just send it to his. Yeah, Big Daddy Arnest right there. Oh. I know, he's, he's weird. So as we were finishing up our food and exploring the restaurant, Arnest had a secret idea that we had to discuss privately, which is basically saying like outside of the restaurant. But hey. Follow me outside real quick, you know? All right, what are we doing? See, are we? Yeah. Kind of looks depressed. Kids love the negativity, you know? Yeah. I'm going to my Big Big Benjamin. A Big Benjamin? <laughs> he was so rude to you, though, bro. I got to be the light in the darkness. I mean, this is what would you do, so let's go. We got back inside of the restaurant, and I'm not joking when I say this, but immediately we walked into disrespect, and Arnis had a change of mind. If it's your birthday, get on stage. Wait, what? Happy birthday! Girl. You suck! I'll paint him like this. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't getting 100 Benji anymore. I can't yeah. go on. No. Good, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, deep down inside, we knew the waiter was a good person and obviously tipped him. But we still had to make things right with our friend earlier. Remember him? And now it's our turn to flip the script onto him. Oh, I'm so angry. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. Said you smell real pretty as well. I smell real pretty? Yeah. I know it's just six on the sign, guys, but I'm not really in, so. Okay. We just confronted that dude. Okay, he got us good, but like, we still have the secret message for John Quinionis. But at least you gave him $100. That probably made his day. Yeah. W man. He got the tip. What the? Uh, you can't put that <laughs> As I left the restaurant, I had faith for humanity because of people like Isabella and my cousin because they didn't do anything crazy. Maybe.